Breaking the Wall of Cancer Therapy Resistance Emma Ann Carlson Falling Walls Lab, Australia I found that treating cancer is a bit like trying to get into a house where the front door is locked. Conventional chemotherapy can be a bit like a bulldozer. Sure, you're going to get inside, but you're hurting a lot of other things in the process. Monoclonal antibody therapy is like a key to the lock. It offers targeted treatment, the key, that directly attaches to receptors on the cancer cell surface, the lock, to kill that cell alone. But haven't we all had a dodgy lock? It's the right key, but for some reason, that door won't open no matter how many times you jiggle it. Well, that's the case for a lot of our monoclonal antibodies, as only 15 to 30 percent of people currently respond. And boy, these keys aren't cheap, as it's estimated that in Australia alone, we're spending up to $355 million a year for non-responders. So how can we predict who has a dodgy lock? Well, our lab have demonstrated that patients who fail to internalize the receptors, so therefore have more receptors on the cancer cell surface in a particular pattern, they respond better to therapy than those who don't. And using this information, we found a locksmith. Prochlorperazine, or PCZ, is a medication that I already prescribe in the hospital for nausea and vomiting. What we've demonstrated is that at high doses, PCZ can temporarily inhibit dynamin, and therefore clathrin-mediated endocytosis. And this serves two purposes. The first is to increase drug binding and loading onto the tumor cell. And the second is that by holding it there for longer, it helps promote clearance of the tumor by the patient's own immune system. So, to prove this worked clinically, we looked at patients with head and neck cancer. And here, highlighted in green, you can see a significant increase in receptor expression and clustering after the addition of PCZ. We did a combination safety trial and showed that our combination had no significant adverse effects. And to our delight, we even saw a regression of metastatic disease that was previously refractory to even our best chemotherapies. So, where to from here? Well, we're currently extending this research into other cancers, and I'm currently recruiting to a clinical trial where I look at the combination of PCZ with trastuzumab, a medication that's used to treat HER2-positive breast cancer. We are breaking down the wall of monoclonal antibody resistance for the 70% of patients who are currently non-responders. And my favorite part of this is, is it won't be through the generation of a novel medication that will cost tens of millions of dollars in R&D and a significant environmental impact, but rather it'll be through reaching into our own pharmacies <coughs> and repurposing an already PBS-approved medication that costs just $20 a vial. Thank you.